Welcome back to Golf the BRX's Winning What's in the Bag. This week, taking a look at Scotty Scheffler and his win at the 2024 Arnold Palmer Invitational. Big win for Scotty. I know he's been kind of hanging on there. He's been so close, and, you know, the putter, whatever, has been holding him back a little bit this week. New putter in the bag. Big win this weekend. So congratulations to Scotty on this win. And let's take a look at his bag, starting with Driver. Driver is going to be the tailor-made QI-10 standard model, not the LS, uh, not the super forgiving max head. He's actually got a standard model, but it's actually a little bit unique. It's what we're kind of, or people, you know, gear heads are calling the dot head. Uh, and what that is, is that when you look, his is an eight degree head. And when it says 8.0, there's a little dot kind of the upper right next to the zero. Retail heads don't have any dots up there to say eight, nine degrees, 10 and a half degrees, anything like that. The tour issue ones have a little dot up there. Uh, so everybody's been nicknaming, nicknaming them the dot heads. And Taylor Media officially hasn't said what they are, but everyone's kind of believing, and the few people who have gotten their hands on them uh, have said they're kind of a lower spinning version of the standard QI-10. So not as low spin as the LS model, but not as high spin as the standard one. So in between there sits for spin, still has a whole lot of forgiveness, and realistically, a lot of tour players, uh, the LS, it just spins too little for them. So they've moved onto these dot heads, same head uh, or similar style head that Rory's playing. So it is an eight degree head uh, and it is shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus Black 7X. This is the original Ventus Black, uh, not the TR model, the original Ventus Black. Uh, so it's about 78 grams, low launch, low spin. Uh, can't tell if it's tipped or anything. It's kind of hard to tell from just photos. And it looks like the hosel adapter setting is maybe in the upright setting. Uh, it's hard to say because I know there are some tour issue adapters, but it looks like it might be in the upright setting with lower, higher being on the other side. Makes it a little more upright, makes it a little easier to turn over and hit a little draw with. We move on to Fairway Wood, and he's using, again, tailor-made QI-10 standard model with the bonded hosel, that three wood, a 15 degree. Uh, and this is shafted up with a Fujikura Ventus Black 8X. So really heavy there, really stout, 85 grams, and it's got a really ultra stiff handle, kind of a stiff midsection, and then an ultra stiff, stiff tip section. Again, low launch, low spin, the very stout shaft for uh, you know people like myself who can't swing it that fast. Then we move on to kind of the irons, and the long irons are actually Srixon ZU85 utility irons. So we go into the three and four iron, both of them are those. The ZU85 is a couple generations old, uh, but he's playing the three, which is a 20 degree three iron replacement, and that shafted up with an Apon Modus Ghost, G-O-S-T, uh, graphite and steel shaft. So the Modus Ghost is a steel shaft with a graphite layer on top. Uh, and it's bonded on, and so you get kind of the best of both worlds. You get kind of that stability of steel with kind of the flexibility uh, and the ball speed of graphite. It comes in at about 112 grams in a Tour X, which is what I'm going to assume Scotty's playing in that. His is actually kind of worn. You can't see the label on it anymore or the full label on it. But we'll assume he's playing the Tour X model at 112 grams. Uh, and it's actually got a similar shaft profile to the Modus 105. Uh, it's a little higher ball flight, though, kind of mid-launch to maybe mid-high launch, uh, but it's a similar uh, bend profile to the Modus 105 iron shaft. His 4-iron, same style head. It's a Srixon ZU85 4-iron, which is 23 degrees, but he's actually playing the matching shaft to his irons, the True Temper Dynamic Gold X100 Tour Issue. Uh, this shaft here, again, low launch, low spin, pretty stout, about 130 grams, low launch and spin. Then we move into his irons, and he's actually playing the tailor-made P7TW in 5 through pitching wood. So these are the Tiger blades uh, that Tiger helped design. He's playing them. A lot of other pros play them as well. Very compact, very thin, little longer blade length. Beautiful irons, though. He's playing those, and they're all shafted up with, again, True Temper Dynamic Gold X100 Tour issues. Uh, again, this matches the four iron, so kind of that combo set that he's playing there. Uh, and really, you play the ZU85s in the long irons for maybe a little bit added distance, maybe a little added launch, where the short irons you're playing, those blades kind of work the ball and have really a lot of control over your distances. Then we move into wedges, and he's actually playing Titleist Vokey SM8 for his 50 and 56 degree. Now the 50 is a 50.12 F grind, which is the high bounce F grind. The standard one is eight degrees and the high bounce version is 12. Uh, same kind of full sole on it though. And then the SM856 is a 56.14 F. So again, full sole on it, full amount of bounce, 
uh, in the 56 degree. Uh, both of those have kind of a Team USA stamp on them uh, from what I'm assuming was when he played at the, uh, the Ryder Cup. Uh, and then a 60 degree is going to be a Titleist Vokey Wedgeworks 60.5 T grind. So, or 60.5 meaning 60 and a half degrees of loft T grind. T grind is typically around 6 to 4 uh, degrees of bounce. Uh, so that there, those are all shafted up with tight, True Temper Dynamic Gold S400 Tour Issue shafts. So S400 is going to be a similar profile to the X100, just a little bit softer in the wedges for a little better feel when you're hitting those partial shots. A little low, lower launch, lower spinning, and it actually comes in a few grams heavier at right around 132 grams. The spider is all new, uh, or the putter is all new, which I've kind of given it away. It's a TaylorMade Spider, uh, and it is actually the TaylorMade Spider X. So the Spider X is the model that a lot of guys have played before. I know Rory has all that. It's got a plumber's neck on it, uh, but this one here, a little different, where before I know he had the Proto version, the, the Spider X Proto, which had a milled steel face, and it had a lot of the weight, the CG pushed forward in the head to kind of have a blade-like feel. This is actually a true TaylorMade, just Spider X. Weight back, high MOI, very forgiving. It does have a plumber's neck on it, which is a custom option that you and I actually could get through TaylorMade's My Spider program. Uh, but his actually has the TPU Pure Roll insert. So it's an actual kind of plastic insert in there with the horizontal grooves that are putting a better roll on the ball, more forward uh, roll, better top spin, less skidding, less hopping. Uh, and it is actually a 35 and a half inch putter with three degrees of loft. Three degrees of loft is actually a touch, like one degree less than a traditional putter typically has. But from what I've seen in fittings, that true roll insert typically works a little better with slightly lower loft. Uh, and it is a 72 degree lie angle. Uh, it has a Golf Pride Pro Only Cord 88C CC grip. So the biggest of the Pro uh, Only Cords. It's got the green star on it when you look on it, uh, which means the largest of, uh, of, of the three models they make there. Ball-wise, playing the Titleist Pro V1, the standard Pro V1, little lower launch, low long game spin, high short game spin, little softer feel than the Pro V1X. And then for the grip, on his, uh, all the rest of his clubs are Golf Pride Tour Velvets. So that is Scotty, Scotty Scheffler's winning what's in the bag at the 2024 Arnold Palmer Invitational. Congratulations again to him. Very cool to see him back in the winner's circle. And... That's what we've got. So we'll wait again next week from the players to see who wins, and we'll take a look at their bag.